We got the guys, Anthony here from DNA Skateboarding More. And David, as always, behind the camera. So, today we have our main thing is to show you how to make a fidget spinner out of a skateboard bearing. And the main item we will be using is a bolt because it's the best weighted and it makes it so it spins longer. This is the worst out of these two, and I like to use pennies for the shields. It's really good. Mm -hmm. So, we have a surprise for you at the end, a very funny thing that we came up with. We left the boards outside so we make sure that we didn't actually show them. So, first things first, you're going to want to clean your bearing. Uh, so, say you buy them right from the factory, you're not going to want the grease from in there. Or, say you have them, you have left your board outside for months and months and you don't use it. Yeah. So... <laughs> First thing is you're going to want to take your shield off, and how you do that is there should be this the little thing around the rim. There should be a little spot right here where there's nothing. What you're going to do is you want to take a push pin, get, choose the side, and you're going to want to pull it out. And sometimes it can be kind of hard to get, and I think this is my bad push pin without that very narrow tip. So once you get that off... What you're wanna, gonna want to do is you're gonna want to set it aside the shield. Make sure, although you do want to leave one side off, because I find that it's better. It it spins better with only one side of the shield on. So make sure your bearing looks like this. Now I've already cleaned this one, so this is one of my good ones. And I've picked out these four to clean, to re-clean, and these are two that I've already made. So I click, pick out those four to make sure that they were good to clean. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to get rubbing alcohol. It doesn't matter. Uh, I you should I would recommend 90% and over so it's stronger and it gets m more of the uh, dirt and grind out. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to fill a Gatorade bottle or a Tupperware with alcohol. You want to put them in. And mine's a little dirty because I've already cleaned, but it doesn't really matter. Then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to shake it up until like for maybe a minute so we'll be back when we're done with that okay guys we are back so this is definitely a lot cleaner so say you're using tupperware you're not gonna have to worry about this part say you use a gatorade bottle though make sure you have a tupperware no matter what so that you can drain the alcohol into there and when you do that try not to have the bearings come out or, then, or what you could do is put like a rag or something like in like over it so yeah, you can collect yeah, them like yeah, that. But with the I don't want to like spill it all over. So or just grab the Tupperware and put your finger in like he's doing. Yeah. That's that's what I mean. Like so much it's, better. It's shooting everywhere though. <laughs> I know it's got alcohol in it, which is the point. It needs to get all that stuff out. Oh, this is so much better. This is just a really bad bearing, I think. And now that I put these on, I can't really take both sides off, which is what I said I recommended to clean. So That one's trash, too. <laughs> yeah, those are both trash. Here's a good one. Yeah, that was a really light spin, too. Make sure you put that cap on so it doesn't fall out. Or do. Okay. Um, one of those. So, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to dry them up, obviously. You know, use your nail and push it into this rim, the opening, so that you can try to clean all that stuff out. And then make sure it's just dry. There's a little something in there. I'm going to try to get that out. Ugh. Okay. What's that face? <laughs> really, 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 really purposely stupid face. Okay. Okay. There we go. So David has already decided on one design. How about you show them that to while? We're going to have is. big bolts because the more weight, the more it will spin. In some cases, as long as it's balanced. Yeah, as long as it's balanced. So we're going to have big bolts on all sides. With this, and then we're gonna put a penny like, on each side with the shield. On each side for the shield, so you can spin it and hold it without worrying. So that is our. That's what we think will work. I guess you would say. That's so we're, we're gonna just gonna, we're just gonna have it like that, and then we have thousands of little bolts right there. <laughs> yeah. So. Uh, we are, I'm going to go ahead and design my first one, which I'm just going to make another, I think I'm going to make a four-sided just with, uh, smaller bolts. So I'm going to choose my, I'm going to have this one, Get the other, we have five ready, we have two already made, I have way more made, but I think I, yeah, I broke most of them because 
Uh, I had I had different pieces that weren't they weren't as heavy. These don't use these. They're terrible. I mean, they're not terribly bad. They fall off. Easy. But they fall off easy, and it's just not good. I would also re recommend using cement glue, and it not super glue, but super glue does work very well. But cementing glue, uh, it doesn't take too much time to dry. And I'm just trying to figure out where I put it, because I prefer to use that. Yeah, because... I saw it on my old Pokemon cards from when I was like five. <sighs> okay, good. I don't want to get that all. Okay, so, party. <laughs> okay, so, well, with this, uh, the cementing glue that I have, it's like a brush, so that I could, like, I could brush yeah, in the edge of the ridges, stuff, so, yeah. I think, yeah, like I said before, I'm going to make a four, but with smaller, so, make sure I have the same kind, same size. And, if you want it to spin longer, and this is in some cases, you keep the shields off, because sometimes that slows it down. That's why I use the pennies, because they stay above yeah. this part. And it's, you know, it still, you know, protects it. And it doesn't softer. slow it down. Uh, say your bolts are really rusty, sandpaper is magical. See this? See this? See? It's disgusting. The Not disgusting. Really see that. By the way, if you don't like getting your hands dirty, uh, I wouldn't suggest doing this project. Or wearing gloves. Like, oh, yeah, wearing gloves. gloves. Okay, I'm not going to do much because those aren't that rusty and I don't like hair. So, first mm -hmm. things first, uh, I think I'm going to put my shields on first because with this, it's a lot harder to do, so we'll be putting the bolts on first. So, take the shield side. Now, what I would suggest, do not put it on the penny. Make sure you put it on this. You have to be very careful with this because you do not want to get it inside the bearing, otherwise it's going to screw it up very, very badly. And I would recommend uh, anything but Gorilla Glue. I think my Gorilla Glue is, glue is just a little old. Maybe that's why it's not very good, but it's very brittle. Very, very brittle. and breaks very easily. And then, remember, be extremely careful here, because if it gets in the bearing, it will not spin. And you're going to have to alcohol, use alcohol just by itself, or you're going to have to use, like, you'll have to use a uh, push pin to try to get all the crap out. Yeah. And you'll have to just constantly clean it, clean it, clean it, clean it over and over again until you finally get it. All out. So I'm using. I'm trying to get the newer one so that I have the shield because I really like the shield. It looks cool. Mm. Okay, so he's just carefully putting it around the. Okay, so he's carefully putting it around the inside ring, and then putting the penny on it. And then you got to try to line it up. So there's a. Li there will be a little bit of a rim. It'll be a space that you can see through into the bearing. But that's good. If you do it right. Yeah, it's good. And then that means you can clean it easier because these aren't going to come off like this one. Before the video, I cleaned this and put this in here because I think a little bit of super glue got into it and just a tiny bit. So I had to get rid of that. I got rid of that and I cleaned it just to make sure. And the pennies are still on really tight. And this is a good bearing. So, And it's not as good as the other one. So, so uh, I'm out of my bearings. Now we're gonna add the bolts onto the or bearing. Bolts. No. Yeah, don't call them bearing. <laughs> Although that would be a fun idea. Well, actually, I bearings have a problem here. Together. I don't have a complete problem, but with this, with these bolts, uh, they're a little bit different. So what I'm gonna have to do is I'm gonna have to hold it instead of just put it straight down. And one mistake I made: don't listen to me. Do not put your pennies on first. I mean, it's not that big of a deal, so if you already did it and you're watching this, that's not that big of a deal. It's just easier because the bearing's going to be flat, and if you want to line up the bolt, you can just set it down, and it, it'll be easier, and you can do all four at the same time. So, that's, that's one thing that can be very annoying. And we will be back once he's done with this because we are running out of time. Yeah. Hey, guys, I am back again, and David is still here, not just me. That's why the camera's moving. That's why. <laughs> so, me and David have finished our designs. We both decided to do one because we needed time still to do other things. And so, these are not the only things you can do. We just recommend these because these are very good. Now, say you want to make a wooden one. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to cut out your shape in paper. Trace it out on paper. Cut out your shape. T put it on wood, like a nice wood. Not like too thick, but like like some kind of board any kind of wood that you want it's your decision then you're going to want to use uh, either i mean it's hard to do a hand saw but if you can use an electrical saw and cut your shape out that's your, what you're going to want to do but before you do that 
when you make your shape or when you yeah when you make your shape make sure you put a like symmetrically perfect hole like as, as perfect as you can make it like that in the middle of your shape so that you can drill out the hole with a hole drilling bit for a drill or any kind of other thing and then you'll be able to drill out the hole for the same size as the bearing and you may have to sand it out to make it the right size so first of all here's mine spins really really good that was a really light tap and i don't know how i feel about doing date well david's is actually doing pretty my good. mine spun but it's still a little bit wet but we will do it anyway because we're savage yeah. <laughs> be very careful it's a little sticky Ooh, that feels good. You can even feel air coming off of it. Oh my yeah, god. Yeah, I know. I felt that. That was too. a light spin. That was a good one. And just saying, these are bad bearings. If you do the bearings that I had, like bone Swiss, I can't like even imagine. Like the bone Swiss and reds, then you have it for a few minutes. These are I, pretty. Yeah, these are the bearings from freaking roller skates. <laughs> I actually have eight more that I need to go take out of the oven. So, those are our designs. And like I said, you know, you know, cut out your shape with the, you know, saw and then drill your hole or you can do that first, which I recommend doing first. Fit your, uh, oh yeah, actually, fit your bearing in and you can glue it in or not glue it in because, you know, if you glue it, yeah, you mm -hmm. can make a pressure fit so that if it falls out, you can just pressure foot, fit it back in. I'd rather do that because then I don't want to ruin the bearing and then I can make other shells for that exact bearing. But what you're going to want to do, if you really want, unless that wood is heavy, you're going to want to draw a smaller hole with a smaller bit and put either actual weights or put bolts in the ends and make sure those are symmetrically placed as well so that it's a balanced weight. And then don't forget, we do have a surprise at the end of the video. Which we will be doing. We will be doing in like a minute. Yeah, about a minute. Yeah. All right. See you there. Yes. DNA skateboarding and more. We are back. And uh, this is a little surprise. Um, take a while to guess. We're gonna give you about ten seconds to figure out what those wheels are, what they're from. And we have them backwards. <laughs> I'm not gonna count, but uh, those are rollerblade wheels. And uh, they are actually more smooth than my wheels. Okay, they ride smoother, but uh, David, try to pick up turn. Try to pick up your board and turn. They have so much traction. You like, it's so hard to try to. <laughs> it's really funny because I, I decided to take the bearings out of a out of my old rollerblade so that I would uh, have more bearings because you know uh, who rides rollerblades still? I mean I mean I ride skateboards so that's not my thing. So if you ride your rollerblades, that's cool. Because it used to be fun. Can't do that. Nope. nope. But uh yeah, I took the bearings out so David came up with a smart idea to try to just use bearings to ride, and that didn't work. So, uh, he, he asked, he saw the rollerblade with no wheels on it. He's like, do you have all, the, all four of those wheels? I'm like, yeah. And then he said, look at, my, look at the board. And I, I, he, he knew that I would know what he, his idea was. So, it's really, really it's freaking fun, funny. But it's, like, it's really hard to turn. But. It is. Like, I tried to do Okay, that, like, sincerely tried to do an ollie. Like, really tried to do an ollie. Oh, no. Oh, Jesus. Okay, so okay. apparently you can't ollie with these either. Well, David's starving, so uh, we're going to go inside and get something to eat, <laughs> and we're going to end this right now, because David's, like, literally weak, because he's dying of, you know, exhaustion. You're making it sound so bad. <laughs> All right, Anthony here, signing off, and David. See ya.